Tanya, you talk about power outages across Western North Carolina, and that's the reason we're here in Rutherfordton because this is one of the only areas that actually has power and Wi-Fi. And driving to this area today, we saw so much damage. It was absolutely heartbreaking. So many down trees on top of homes, so many areas where the floodwaters have completely ruined businesses, buildings, cars. It's it's heartbreaking driving to Western North Carolina right now. I want to talk to you a little bit about a family that I met heading into Lake Lure earlier today. People who live in that area had to evacuate after the Lake Lure Dam was compromised by Hurricane Helene. The Halens live in Rutherford County and say that they had about five minutes to pack up and leave after that warning. They headed towards Charlotte to stay with some family members, but not long before heading back to their home with some much needed supplies. Paige Hanlon says she had to help the people who means the most to her. 100% the community, like 100%, like I, we wouldn't, sorry. We wouldn't have landed here if it wasn't for these people and we wouldn't still want to be here and still want to fight for this community if it wasn't for these people around that are helping us do this. That's it. Law enforcement officials are not allowing anyone into the Lake Lure area unless they can provide proof of residence. Officials say up until Lake Lure Beach is fine, but anything beyond that is destroyed. It's catastrophic. Um, really and truly, I think for a long time we couldn't get news out because no one could get in. Um, but I think just anybody can see on the internet, on the news now, what's circulating around the videos, especially up that way closer to towards the lake, Chimney Rock, Bat Cave area, it's gone. It's literally gone. Firefighters and Lake Lure town staff have gone door to door making rescues in some of those most affected areas. They are trying to get as many people out as they can. They're doing this on foot and by helicopter in the areas where cars can't go. Live in Rutherford County, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.